Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm going to talk about my slacker ways and things that just make my life a little easier. I'm also going to announce a giveaway winner. And the areas I'm going to cover is makeup, skincare, household, travel, uh, which, you know, it's not traveling yet, and finances. Just some things I do that makes my life easier. And, and the first one I do is hair and hairstyle. I've had short hair before for a couple years here on YouTube. And one time when I was like 18, I had short hair. But I realized it just took up too much time and I wasn't willing to spend that much time. What I like to have is a hairstyle that I can wash, I can fix one time with one of my heated tools and not do anything until I wash it again. I want to be able to pull my hair up, pull my hair back, and, and I can do that. And it's just because I don't enjoy spending time with my hair. I sleep on a real silk pillowcase every night and if by some chance I have done the curls that I do sometimes I will use a, a silk nightcap and then when I wash my hair like two or about four days later it's I don't have to do anything else to it. I don't want to have a hairstyle that requires me using products or hairspray. It takes me like on occasion I will use hairspray but I know it took me two and a half years to use a can of hairspray so I really kind of like it fuss free. Another thing I do that keep, makes it easy for me is I just keep my makeup that I use kind of on a daily basis in a basket. Right now I have a couple of Laura Geller powder foundations, a, an It Bye Bye foundation powder that has SPF, which I love. And the two blushers I've been using a lot is the one from Buxom Dolly and then um, and then this little jewel, this isn't a mini, but this is the Mood Exposure by Hourglass. That's probably my go-to. I keep my tweezers in here and it just makes it really easy to get ready in the morning. My morning routine for skincare and my evening routine are different. And one of the reasons I do that is because I'm a slacker. I do my morning routine in my dressing room and after I've washed my face in the bathroom and put on my Retin-A, I do the rest of it when I go to bed at night. So, but plus, if I thought my skin needed the same thing, but I don't think it does, and so far it's going, it's going well. And another slacker thing that I do is I pretty well stay consistent with what skincare I'm using. Unless I need to change it up, I'm not going to change it up. I dedicate one day a week, and that is Sunday, when I do my derma rolling, when I do my uh, shaving my face, I do that every other Sunday and I use some tort, sort of a gamage or a peel the opposite Sundays. And then I derma roll in the evening, in the late afternoon evening. But I know that I have that one day that I do something. I derma roll every Sunday, but I remember what I need to do next and my the little peach fuzz on my face will remind me probably one of my best tips I gave you years ago that I have done since I was a little girl. I put a headband or the cuff of a sock or I keep something in my bathroom so when I wash my face nothing runs up my sleeves and that is the slacker in me because I don't want to get my pajamas wet. I don't want to get, I don't want that, I don't like it running up my elbow going down on the floor so I've given this tip so many times but, but I remember being a little girl and using those stretchy headbands that we used to have and wrapping them around my wrist. So that is the reason I do that is because I'm a slacker and I don't want to have to clean up my arms. And then I just throw those in like a zipped mesh laundry bag and I wash them. And there, I, you can use the cuffs of sweatshirts, you can use the cuffs of sleeves. There's no reason to go buy anything for that specifically. Oh, there's so many things you can use. I get my hair cut every three months if there's no pandemic and this time it was like from January to June but I go ahead and I make an appointment for the next three months so then that's out of the way I've got it written in my calendar I have it on my phone and it just makes my life easier I use the color wow on my hair once a month and I always do that the first time I shampoo in the new month so but by using it that one time a month 
it keeps my hair virtually you know not frizzy for the rest of the month if I needed to use it more I would but I did my hair like the day before yesterday I washed it and I used that Callista tools thing that I, I like and and I don't have to do anything to it so that's and I think something that is so important is if you find something that works for you stick with it there's been several things I have quit buying in makeup or not lipstick but in makeup because I mean it doesn't get any better than that that so kind of realize when is it is as good as it gets and then that'll save you time from shopping online or unless you just have a passion for something and I understand that but some people are for backups and some people are against them I am somebody that is very pro having backups I have it for my laundry detergent I have it for my downy for I, I have a backup microwave like I know how old my microwave is and if I see a good deal on the size that I want I will buy it and I'll do one of two things I'll either change it out and put my old microwave up or I'll use my microwave until it's done because that's how much I use a microwave I don't want to ever have to stop what I'm doing and go shop for something that I use every single day the same thing with my Keurig I have a backup I saw a good deal on it one time and I bought it because Jim uses that every day I use a bun coffee maker and sometimes I use a Keurig but um, it's something we use every day I don't have a backup Keurig because I mean I don't have a backup bun coffee maker because I can always have coffee from the Keurig and I have a backup frother because it's important to me to froth my half and half every day so anything that's important for me well, we even have a backup car, a vehicle. Like I call the car I drive my car and the car Jim drives his car. I still have my old minivan that's a 2006 that we just call our car. So we have a backup car. So that's just kind of the way I work. I always make sure that I fill up my tank when it hits half full. It's because I always, I don't ever want to have to go someplace and have to worry about gas. Jim's not as good as I am on that, but I do. And I, when it gets to the half mark, I fill it up. Every Monday morning, I balance our checkbooks. I make sure that everything's accounted for. I have had some issues one time with the bank and uh, yeah, I did. So I make sure that it's right on Mondays. And also on Mondays, I check we don't use credit cards a lot that I'm signed up online to be able to look at the balance but I look every Monday just because what if somebody got a hold of my credit card so that's just one of my practices I do that makes my life easier and because if it just happened within the last week there's a good chance I'll find the person if I waited until I got a statement it wouldn't be as good for years and years and years I've always purchased socks in multiples like I like a certain gold toe black sock. Well, I will order two dozen. No, I won't order two dozen. I will order a dozen of them. So when I wash my dark clothing, I don't have to match up socks. I do the same with gym socks, even like my navy socks or my black brown socks. I buy three to six pairs and that's all I have in my drawer is that same brand. I started doing that with my kids and it just made it so easy. I don't like to pair up socks. I keep a running list for the grocery store, for things we need, and then for things we want. And a lot of times I will put them in my shopping cart on different websites. I'll sign in and I'll just leave it there. And sometimes then I'll check and see if Ebates or Mr. Ebates or one of the other cashbacks or when it's on sale. So sometimes that's how I do my wants list. I'm guessing about 28 years ago, I bought these hangers and they have all sorts of them now. These were the Joy Mangano ha hangers and I emptied, Jim and I don't share a closet, but this was long before Jim. This was probably, I met Jim in 2006 and I moved in this house in 1991, I bought it. I bought it when it was 100 years old and I was single for 15 years. I think I said that. But anyway, I have a closet and a couple of years after I moved in, I saw these hangers by Joy Mangano and they were called the Huggable Hangers. That's the only thing that's in my closet. I cannot tell you how many 
hangers I purchased, but it was enough to fill my closet, top, bottom, wherever. And, uh, and I love them, and I love them to this day. And if you turn your knit shirts, these are don't really give you the tip on the shoulder like most of them do. But if you have like a knit item, if you turn it inside out, you won't have any little knit thing, little tips on your shoulders. And then like with my pajamas, I hang my pants over this, and then I hang up my shirts and hang them in my closet, and I miss my winter pajamas so much. I haven't been filming in my pajamas because like, I'm not like thrilled about any of my summer pajamas. Well, maybe just a couple. By having identical hangers in my closet, it's so easy to find anything. And one of my rules I made a long time ago is if I buy something new, I have to donate something. So I don't buy a lot of new clothes because I still do like what I have in my closet. You guys know I like to give gifts. I've always liked to give gifts all my life. And when I see something and it makes me think about somebody, that's when I buy the gift. And it, it may be a birthday gift, it may be a Christmas gift, it may be a gift, a hostess gift, but I'll start early and I have a certain place I put my gifts and I've already got a good start for Christmas. But something that I've talked about, I talked about these uh, several years ago and I still use them. And I'll show you an, an open package and I'll just put the colors up. It is a package of extra large tissues. It has all different colors. It even has like the gold and the silver. It has every color that you can imagine. And then I buy the cellophane bags and I have them in several sizes. Well, they have a pleat on the side and I can always make a pretty package using this. I can cut this off if it's too tall. I can fold it over. I can put a pretty ribbon in it, but I can make a pretty package just like that whether it is for a male or for a female. And sometimes if I ever go to Dollar Tree, which I haven't been, been to a Dollar Tree in forever, I'll make sure I have, get some gift bags there. And sometimes on QVC, they have some wonderful all occasion gift bags. So I always make sure I have those available because it makes my life easier. Something else I do, I always make sure that I have 15 to 20 $1 bills six to eight five dollar bills probably four or five ten dollar bills and and some 20s i always make sure i have some money because then i have proper change but in my purse whenever i travel again i i, I keep something like this and what i do i put a little tiny mark on the front i put five dollar and one dollar bills in here and i'll just grab these I know on the front they're five dollar bills and I always make sure that the five shows and I keep this on this side and then my one dollar bills I keep here. So if you need to tip somebody or if you're going to run and just buy something that's a few dollars, you don't have to get your wallet out of your purse and you always have the correct change and, and, and I've done this for years and years and years. And I do have some change in there too, I probably have some quarters, about four quarters and some dimes and some nickels. This just goes in an outside portion that's zippered in my handbag, so I don't have to get into it when I don't want to. Not too long ago, I mentioned to you that the last time I think I'm gonna get rid of this pair of underwear, I wash them and I fold them and I put them in a drawer in my dressing room. And those are what I take when I travel. And then I take the small dollar store yellow bags and I just put my underwear in the bag throw them away so I never have to carry dirty underwear with me and I like that. I kind of do a little bit the same thing with clothing. You know, like I've told you, I've weed out things. Well, I'll go through before I've donated my clothing. I'll pick out a couple of things. Oh, I think I can wear this one time. And most of the time when we travel and stay in hotels, depending how long we're gone, I might take a couple of outfits, a couple of tops, a couple of pair of pants, and I will just, when I, I take them off, I'll fold them and I'll put them in a grocery bag and I'll leave them on the last day that we're there and I'll just write a note and just say, do with these what you will. Because especially if you are traveling internationally, somebody could use your clothing. So, or they could just throw them in the trash. It doesn't matter. But I, in my mind, I think that they like them and they appreciate them. And I never would leave anything that was worn out. Just something that just, you just don't want to wear anymore. And the very last thing I'm going to share, and, and I may come up with some more, and I'm counting on you guys to share with me things you do. 
but I always make sure that I have a 12 pack of water in the trunk of my car and my car's in the garage. I make sure the bottles are about this tall. That's the only time I drink bottled water is when we are traveling. But I've never had a bottle freeze or I've never had a bottle be too hot to drink because you know how important water is to me. So that way I don't have to go in some place and buy a $3 bottle of water. I've already got my water with me. So seriously, in the comment section below, tell me something that you do that might be kind of slackerish or something that makes your life a little easier. Before I announce the winner of last week's giveaway, I just wanted to thank you for all the thumbs up I got last week. I had more thumbs up than comments and that's always a good thing. I wanted to let you know that Colleen Tucker identified that first brush I showed and it is from Bare Minerals. I could make out the very end of it. So thank you Colleen for identifying that. Also, all the brushes I mentioned were two years old or older. I noticed so many of you love the BK Beauty brushes. I love them too and I have a 10% discount code that doesn't earn anything for me. It's just something to help you if anybody is interested in those brushes. And now I want to announce the winner. And what she is going to win are the two small palettes, the Superhero Mascara, the set of brushes, and then the concealer brush. And the winner is Donna Schwab. Congratulations, Donna. And make sure you leave a comment below so I can get in touch with you. It is all good. I hope you all are doing well. I'm still humbled that you watch and that you give me the thumbs up. And I need to say that in the beginning of my video. Give me the thumbs up because that does make a difference. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Not like mm, a slip, ooh, a silk. The first Sunday of every, no. And if I use the razor on my face at night, like satin,